You're spinning me around, said uh, Mrs. Cranberries. Her name is Dolores D Claiborne. Ah, oh, shoot. Dioridian. Why do I always do this? Why do I always start talking about people who have died and then I feel insensitive and then it's... Standard tuning, no bar chords, Sunday by the Cranberries. It wasn't an Irish accent, it was just a weird accent. So what's gonna happen now is you're gonna put your ring finger on the ninth fret of the second string from the top, pinky on the ninth fret of the third string from the top, middle finger, eighth fret, third string from the bottom. If you want, you can put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the top string. That's just in case you accidentally hit the top string. You'd rather be pushing on seven than playing the top string open. So it's just a precautionary measure, you guys. If you are not pushing on the top string, I would like it if you would have your thumb come up over the top and just mute the top string. That's what I do. You're gonna strum this chord, should sound like this. You're gonna do a nice slow strum like that where you really milk each note of it. You go, I wish I didn't say milk each note of it. That sounded weird. You're weird. You also have an ugly shirt. Come on guys, why do you have to be like that? Strum the chord, then pluck up on the bottom string, then pluck up on the second string from the bottom, and then pluck down on the third string from the top. So that's strum, up, up, down. One, two, Play it with me and strum up, up, down. Great job. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, we're doing a good job. We're doing a real good job. So immediately after that, you're going to play the bottom string plucking up again, then the second to bottom plucking up again, then play the second string from the top plucking down. And we're not wasting any time. Go right back to the bottom string, pluck up, second to the bottom, pluck up, and then third from the top, pluck down. So here's what we just did, guys. Look, get a good look. We go strum, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. One, two, here we go. And strum, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Am I doing this right? I think it's just that we're doing it slowly so it feels weird. You feel weird, your shirt feels weird. There, is that what you were looking for? This is gonna be a challenge, but let's try it a little bit faster because it just sounds so much more like the song when we do it faster. We're gonna go like strum, up, up, down, up, up, down. One, two, good luck. Strum, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Great job. At this point, you're immediately just gonna play the bottom string, plucking up one more time. Then there's a tiny little pause, not like a long wait where you get to go brush your teeth, but just like a short little wait where you get to think for a second. Okay, then after you, so you play the bottom string, tiny little pause, then you're gonna play second string from the top again, and then right back to the bottom string. So that whole rhythm right there goes like this. Strum, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, oh shoot, darn, I messed up at the last minute and it makes me want to eat my pick for breakfast on a Sunday morning, Sunday morning brunch. Play it with me once and I know with your support we both will make zero mistakes and not have any picks for Sunday brunch. Two, three, four, strum. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. There, we did it, that was really good. So we just did that whole pattern on this crazy kooky chord right here. Then you're gonna take this chord, you're gonna move it one, two frets over. So now you're on seven, seven, and six. It's the exact same shape. So I two frets over, do the exact same picking. So it's strum, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Just like that. Then take this chord shape, move it one, two more frets over. So you're on five, five, and four. Do the same exact picking again, then move back the other way two more frets so you're on seven, seven, and six, and do the strumming again. That completes part one of the intro. Is that right? I feel like I left something out. Oh, I did. Then after you do it there, you move back two frets over again. So we're on like nine, nine, and eight and we do the thing. Then we go to seven, seven, and six, and we do the thing. Then we go to five, five, and four, and do the thing. 
go back to seven, seven, six, do the thing, then back to five, five, and four and do the thing. So it's five chords total, each with the exact same picking slash strumming pattern. Can we play that whole entire intro all the way through? I'm not gonna make any mistakes. One, two, good luck, strum up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Same thing. Almost there. Last chord. We did it. We made it through the whole entire first part of the intro. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel of Marin Music Center. This would be a, such a good time for you to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you did that, I would be eternally grateful. Eternally grateful. So that means that I will, all, long after I am dead, I will continue to be grateful and for all time before this time, I have already been grateful. But it transcends even that because it's not like for all time before this. It's like outside of time with time not even being a concept. Gratefulness is what I am for what you have done for me in the future. Put a little bit of pressure on you to subscribe right now. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I would just cut it out of the video if I was sincerely sorry. What are you even talking about? Are you ready for the second part of the intro, guys? You're gonna do third fret on the second string from the top, third fret on the third string from the top, and second fret, third string from the bottom. So it's that same shape we've been moving all over the place, but now it's on three, three, and two. However, you also need to take your pointer finger and put it on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. And I would really like it if you would have your thumb come up over the top and mute the top string. This is an F major seven chord. You're gonna go like this. You're just gonna do a tiny little strum down where you aim for the top few strings and then do a tiny little gentle strum up where you aim for the bottom couple strings. And you just go like this, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You're gonna do eight strums total. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or is it 16? No, it's 16 strums total, guys. So it's gonna be, you're gonna count to eight. No, yes, 16 strums. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you know what's more effective though? Go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, did this guy really just spend 45 seconds showing me how to count to 16? Yeah, yeah, I did. Guys, after your 16 strums on that F major seven chord, you're gonna switch to a C chord. Here's what you do. You're on the F, right, like this. Get rid of your pinky. Take your middle finger, move it up to the third string from the top, keep your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom, and take your pinky and put it on the third fret of the bottom string. It's a slight, it's not like a weird C chord. This is the standard C. Adding the pinky there, it's still just a C, it's just ever so slightly different. And you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But you know what's a better idea? Is counting it like one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and. All right, now that everybody's gone away from the video, I can do whatever I want. I can just hang out and drink water with electrolytes in it. Oh, so many electric lights for this dog, dad. Oh, what else can I do now that I'm all by myself? I can get my Edward Cullen pillow and I can just sit with it. We'll put this right back here. There we go. Just, just me and Edward hanging out, enjoying some privacy for once. Do your 16 strums on the F major seven, 16 strums on C, and then the singing starts, guys. This is where the singing starts. You're gonna do another 16 strums on your F major seven, another 16 strums on your C. Then go back and do 16 more strums on the F major seven, then go back to C, but only do eight strums on the C. Just go one and two and three 
and four and because then we're gonna switch to the lead guitar we're gonna go so that right there on the third string from the top play three two three two three two one two here we go three two three two three two then go back to the f major seven and do a m 16 more strums on that guy so check it out guys we're going f two three four five six seven switch and one and two and three and four and then see 16 strums on f again then one two three, four. How do you feel about all this? So that, was, that got a little bit confusing. Here's what happened. We did 16 strums of F, 16 strums of C. Then the singing starts. We do 16 strums of F, 16 strums of C. Then we do 16 strums of F again. Eight strums on C do the lead thing. 16 strums on F, eight strums of C do the lead thing. 16 strums of F, eight strums of C do the lead thing. And then after you do that third time doing the lead thing, then do one more big strum of the F major seven and just let it hang out for eight beats. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we are officially done with the intro and we go into what I call the church, the vorus to the song. It's like a mix between a, a church and a chorus. Uh, the what's verse and a chorus. It's sort of like I don't know which is which, guys. I don't think the song has a verse or a chorus. So it's got a vorus. What do you want me to say? It's just math. It's just simple math. Edward, do you what's his it's not it's not Edward though. Edward doesn't smile like that. It's um what's the actor's name? Batman. It's Batman. Guys, what I would like Robert Pattinson Give me a break. You think I don't know Edward's name? Whatever happened to the Stretch Armstrong movie? The guy who was the werewolf in, in uh, Twilight was supposed to be Stretch Armstrong. That thing fell apart. Would have been so good, too. I wonder what happened. Okay, so the verse goes like this. We have to play an F major 7 sharp 11 chord. So it's our F major 7 chord, but without the pointer finger. So it's just top string is muted by your thumb, then third fret, third fret, second fret, bottom two strings are open. We're going to do this strumming pattern. We're going to go down, 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 up, up, down, down. One, two, here we go. And down, 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 up, up, down, down. One more time, just you and me. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. But net new do pop poo poo. I meant to say let's do it twice in a row, but I changed my mind, so I just made poo poo pee pee sounds, guys. After the strumming pattern on the F major seven sharp eleven, we're gonna switch to a C major seven chord. Here's how you do that. So here's your F major seven sharp eleven. Get rid of your pinky. Move your middle finger up to the second fret of the third string from the top. Keep the top string muted. C major seven chord. Do the strumming pattern on that. Just down. <laughs> Down, down, up, up, down, down. We're just gonna do that pattern once on the F, once on the C, and we do that whole thing four times for the first chorus. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, up, down, down. Switch down, 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 up, up, down, down. Again, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Put. Right, did we do two? I lost count. Put. One more time. And that's how you play the Vorus. Guys, there's not actually such thing as a Vorus or a Churse. I'm just making these words up. I'm making it all up as I go. I've never even heard this song. Okay, guys. Second verse, you do the exact same thing. You just do that exact same pattern another four times in a row. That gets us to the interlude of the song. Interlude goes like this. You have the F major 7 sharp 11 chord. Just do one big strum. Hold it out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to go like this. So here's what that was. You play seven on the second string from the top. Then you go to five on the second string from the top. Then you play five again, but immediately slide to three. So it goes like three, four, seven, five, slide. One, two, here we go. 
then on the second string from the top you play two three two so now we've got seven five slide two three two one two play it with me guys seven five slide two three two and then we go to this guy an a sus two which i fondly call the diablo theme chord guys you're gonna mute the top string with your thumb second string from the top is open Middle fingers on two of the third string from the top, ring fingers on two of the third string from the bottom. Bottom two strings are open, A sus two. So watch this. Then you just do that again. One more time, you guys. We're doing we're doing okay. So that is the interlude. So it's just one strum of the F major seven sharp eleven, and then you do that whole thing three times in a row. Let's go ahead and do the whole interlude. One, two, here we go. And one, two, three, four. Two, three, again. Two, one more time. Four, and then we go to the next chorus to the song, exactly the same as the other ones. You just go. Another four times in a row. Then you get to another verse, chorus, chorus, verse, chorus. Then we go back into another verse, which is just the same as the other verses. We're just doing the F major seven and the C major seven going. We do that four times in a row, but after that is just another verse, which means we do it another four times in a row. Then there's just this, like this short little bridge, but all the bridge is, is it's those same two chords another four times in a row. So we do just F major seven sharp 11 to C major seven with the strumming, a total of 12 times in a row. That's a dozen times in a row. Then we go back to the interlude that we did a moment ago, which was the F major seven, sharp 11, then seven, five, three, two, three, two, blue. You do the interlude exactly the same, which means we do the seven, five, three, boom, gang, go, go thing three times. After we do that whole thing three times, then you just strum an E chord. E is just top string open, then second fret, second fret, first fret bottom two strings are open just one big strum of that and that's how the song ends so i i desperately don't want to but i think we need to play this all the way through starting from the very 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 beginning one two three four Then the singing starts. I'm a little out of tune. I'm not gonna do anything about it right now. Oh, it's bugging me though. It's fine. Uh, do you hear that? I need to tune desperately. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna. I, can't do it. Wait. Uh... I stopped the video and got got tuned up, but I kind of lost track of where I am. I think we have one more of these, but maybe I'm wrong. Shoot. This is gonna be the last one. 
four, five, six, here we go! Two more of those. Well then actually there are four more now, because now we're in the second verse. Get ready for the interlude. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Back to the verse. I'm not, I don't want to do it all the way through. 